Hi, my name is David Begany. I'm an inquirer with the Missionaries of the Gospel of Life, the New Pro-Life Society, and the Catholic Church. My message today is for men who've recently found out that their girlfriends, their wives, perhaps uh, an acquaintance is pregnant through, uh, through your relationship with her. Um, you may be feeling scared, uh, especially if you're not in a committed relationship. And I wanted you to, to tell you that at this time, the most important thing that your girlfriend needs you to hear is that you love them and that you want to bring to life the child that you two have conceived, irregardless of how it has been conceived. Of course, we know that the Lord wants us to have bear and conceive children within a, a marital relationship, but even if you haven't, he still wants the life that has been conceived brought into existence. He says, before I you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you, which means he knew you and I uh, before we, we were even conceived in the uh, sexual relationship between our parents. So as you approach your girlfriend, don't tell her that you know, it's up to her to do what she wants to do, that you'll support whatever she does. What I found in talking to women and learning is that they want you to tell them that, no, I want you to bring this life into the world. They want to feel your support and know that you support them. And as long, when you tell them that, it will improve your relationship with them and it will allow them to give them the encouragement they need to bring that life into the world. And if you're a man who, like I said, maybe has just met someone and as, you know, sometimes we are tempted to do, you had sex with this person and they've recently conceived a child, even if it's an acquaintance, um, you may be especially scared. But uh, perhaps you've recently found out your girlfriend is pregnant or your wife is pregnant and you're kind of scared to be a father again or to be a father for the first time. Um, I want to encourage you to accept really the gift that you have been given despite the fact that it might not seem like that, the gift to be a father. You know, there can be a no greater role in our society than to either be a father or a mother. You might ask why. Well, the reason is is that you have the capability to shape and form that person to be the person they will be as an adult. Of course, you, we want to form someone to be a good child, to grow up to be a good teenager, responsible adult, but that gift has been given to you by God, and I encourage you, despite the circumstances, to accept the gift of fatherhood. And I can assure you, if you accept this gift, if you work at being a good father, raising a child, even if it turns out you don't marry the, the person that you've conceived the child with, at the end of your life you'll have a great accomplishment. It won't matter if you're a great scientist, a great doctor, a great lawyer, uh, a great carpenter, what will really matter is the love that you have shown that child for on as you approach your later years and even perhaps on your deathbed that child will come to you and you can recall that as a great accomplishment uh, and I, I encourage you to accept this gift and to receive what God has given to you and I can assure you you will be rewarded beyond your dreams. Thank you. God bless you.